I said earlier, if you would take all my tools away, every all my business tools, if you were to take them from me, that is going to take money out of my pocket. I guarantee it. Because I'm not able to do my job as well without my tools. So it's not so much about the actual person. Keep in mind that my body works just like your body does. The way that we learn these things is that we share our techniques with each other. We study each other. And then we start to try to mimic them and practice them. Duplicate it. And the more that you push yourself, and the more confidence you get in actually breaking yourself down. You almost want to break yourself down and try to just push yourself, to force yourself into a position. I know there's times in, in some of the trainings where they're telling us that we got to get down and squat like this and cut like this, and that's uncomfortable. But you know what? If you do it and you trust the technique, you trust the body position, you mimic it, you try to duplicate it, you're going to be able to perfect it eventually. And then you can become your own student, a student of yourself. You'll start teaching yourself things. And once you get the actual technique and you actually get the confidence to just try it, that's all it is. You know, a lot of women are, and a lot of people in the salon, women and men, are afraid to do men's haircuts. They run away from them. They don't want to do it. But I tell you what, you cut a man's hair good and he'll come back to you every single time. Men are real faithful about who they let cut their hair. Well, not all of them, but, but most of them. You give them a good haircut, they get compliments on their haircut, they'll come back to you. Believe it. Believe it. So we're going through, and we're taking Jeremy, Justin, Justin, Jeremy, and we talked about how you want to square off the head. So you want to take the roundness out of it. And how do we do that? We do that by keeping it real tight in here. And if you notice, uh, Kevin cut my hair earlier this week, you notice how it's real tight right here. That's because the head bubbles like this. So if you think about it, if you want to square the head off, you're going to want to be real tight here and then let it go into the length. That's what a nice taper is going to do. That's going to appear masculine to the eye. We do that through a nice, a nice blend.